finally. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And this is actually very special because this is the first time that I'm talking to you guys. So just quickly why I'm doing this, I want to continue YouTube. I only did lookbooks and I said nothing. And then I started to blog, but it felt like I enjoyed doing this more. So that is why I thought I'm going to start with showing you my favorites. Okay, here we go. First, I'm going to start with skincare and I've been loving skincare so much lately. But since my sister introduced me to Korean skincare, uh, I've been testing out some products and ever since I started doing that, I feel like that my skin has gotten much better. So I have been really liking this soap and it's the pure gentle black sugar chocolate soap from Claire's. It's all natural and it's handcrafted which I appreciate so much. It's a soap. It looks like this. You can cut it in six pieces and I already use two pieces at the moment. It smells so good. It smells really organic. I really love this scent and this soap is so gentle for your skin. It contains jojoba oil, olive oil, some other oils. So it's very moisturizing for your skin and therefore after you cleanse your face, your skin won't dry out. I have also been really loving this One Step Pimple Clear Pad by Cosrx. And this is actually the one that my boyfriend used. The one that I used is already emptied, but this is such a good product. It contains BHA, so it's also a light exfoliator and you can also use it as a toner or remove your makeup with it, but I used it as a toner and it really feels like it, how do you say it? It really feels like it prevents me from breaking out. That's the word. That's the <laughs> that's the sentence. Again, by Cosrx. I've been loving this Acne Pimple Master Patch. And my boyfriend is actually using this as well. What you do, it comes in 24 patches in different sizes. After you cleanse your face, because you have to put it on a clean face, you put it on a blemish and you do the rest of your skincare and then you sleep one night with it. The next day it absorbed all of the dirty pus and oiliness out of your blemish. It's one of my all-time favorite. This is so good. Also have been loving the Mineral Treatment Essence by Cremolab. This was actually given by Ipo Cosmetics. I will link everything below. But this Mineral Treatment Essence contains thermal water from Gyumjin. Gyumjin, if I pronounce that correctly. This essence is for hydration, pore care, anti-wrinkle and whitening. And it also contains niacinamide inside, which is really good for the skin as well. I use this every night. If my skin really feels dehydrated, I put mostly two to three layers of this essence on my skin. And then my skin feels really plumped and hydrated. I have also been loving this exfoliating oil to milk scrub. I use this once a week. It's from Madara Organic Skincare and this was also given to me. I just love this scrub so much because it has a oil to milk consistency which is really mild and very gentle and soft for the skin. Yeah, my skin feels really soft and moisturized after I've used this. And the scent is so good. It smells really good. I have been loving using masks every week, but I've been loving this sheet mask by Muji. It's for a sensitive skin. First of all, the packaging really intrigued me because it is so simple. Once I used a mask, my skin got really irritated and I had redness for two days. But after I've used this mask, it cooled down. Yeah, this is such a good mask. I have some beauty favorites. 
I'm going to start with this Dream Cushion by Maybelline with SPF 20 and in the color Ivory number 10. This is not available in the Netherlands I believe but I bought this in Germany and by the way drugstore brands in Germany is much cheaper than here in the Netherlands so I highly recommend if you are near Germany go to the DM store and buy the drugstore stuff over there. This is actually the only cushion or foundation or BB cream that I can use at the moment because my skin is really dehydrated and this is the only cushion that won't get my skin uh, flaky. So yeah, this is a really good cushion. One of my all-time favorite is this highlighter by Urban Decay or Urban Decay, I don't know, but it's the Afterglow highlighter and it called Sin. Okay, but this highlighter is really beautiful. I've been using it almost every day for that glowy skin. It's in this color and oh, it's so pretty, it's so pigmented, but I don't have it on my skin now. I have another highlighter that I now have on my face which I really love as well and this is the pure nude highlighter from the essence and you can buy this in the drugstore it's called be my highlight <laughs> what a cute name but yeah I've been loving this highlighter as well it's not that pigmented as the Urban Decay highlighter but this gives you a very natural glow and I love using this highlighter with this multitasking brush from H&M it's so beautiful to use this with the highlighter you just highlight your face here and here and here and it's really natural so I've been loving this brush as well I have also been loving this Insta Blur All-in-One 5 Action Perfector Universal Shade but this is from the body shop and I've been using this almost every day especially when I go outside I do have big pores yeah it blurs out of your pores so it's really good also been loving this eyebrow pencil from Innisfree. I bought this in Hong Kong. I think I have the color cappuccino so it's more brownish but you have one side you have a brush and the other side you have the pencil. I don't know if you can see it. It goes on very nicely and fast and I have been loving using this. And for the last month I've been testing out these two products from Xlash. It's the eyelash serum which I use before I go to sleep. I put this on my eye line here and because it contains a lot of vitamins your eyelashes won't fall out that quickly and therefore your eyelashes will grow longer and over day you can nourish your eyelashes with the mascara because it also contains vitamin E. I really do feel like that my eyelashes have become much longer and fuller. I will show you a picture on Instagram before and after this week. I have also been loving this Anayake Shiroi perfume. It smells so good. It's really strong. It smells flowerly, fresh flowers, but also like nature. I just, just go and smell for yourself but this is actually my favorite perfume that I have at the moment and for accessories I've been really loving wearing minimal uh, earrings I bought these little earrings from the Primark I've been loving all those minimal circles, triangles and yeah this is just 4 euros so I've been loving wearing them a lot. I also have been loving wearing these earrings from the Mango. What I love about it is because it's gold and silver together and yeah it goes on with everything that I'm wearing actually. Sunglass! Like look at it. It's from Forever 21. I have been love wearing this one in the summer. Also have been loving this Sunnies from Miniso. I bought this in Hong Kong and I also love how big they are. I also love 
to wear this hat. I just love wearing a hat like this now. Like it goes on with everything for my fashion favorites. Ooh, my hair. I've been loving this blazer and it's it is PR gifted, uh, but I love wearing this so much. It's from American Vintage. And yeah, it's a very oversized blazer jacket. I can wear this with almost everything. So when it's really cold outside, I quickly grab this one. I have also been loving wearing these comfy trousers. This is from Stradivarius. Also love these oversized hoodies. This is really white as well. And I also have it in black. They are so easy to style. That is why I love them so much. As well, I have been loving wearing these oversized t-shirts with these Asian characters on it. Back to my roots. But no, this is Japanese and I'm Chinese. But I just love how oversized they are. I have another one here and this I bought in Taiwan. You can style them with everything. I have also been really loving this jeans and this is from the Zara. What I love about it is because it has these rings underneath which I really like. And for gadgets, I've been loving this lens. I take this with me every time when I go outside. You can just put it here on your phone and it looks really cool. People come to me and ask me like, what is that? But it's a wide angle lens and it also has this fish eye thing. And I use this mostly with my Insta stories. I also really have been loving this iPhone case. It's from G-M-I-L-E. I'm not going to try pronounce that in one word because I just, I don't want to ruin it. But this was gifted by them and I just love the sickle lens and the cactus. What I also really have been loving is reading this book. This book is such a good book. It's by Haruki Murakami. This book is so beautiful. It's about two people living their own lives and then somehow, some way, uh, they are in another dimension and they are meeting each other halfway. It's a romance, it's a sci-fi, it's, it's really beautiful. I don't want to say too much about it. And I love Haruki Murakami's books in overall because the way he writes, it is so visual. You can imagine the scenario, what he describes. It's su he is such a good writer and I highly recommend to read Haruki Murakami books because he writes beautifully and even now I finished this book but my head is still in this book. Sometimes I'm, I'm also wondering like what if the world would be like that. And now really like a random favorite and this is the last favorite for today is this case. It's from Muji. I bought it in Hong Kong. It looks like this and I have been loving this case so much because I go outside a lot and I always take a book or a notebook with me like this. Yeah, I'll just want to protect my books. So that is why I put it in this case. Okay, that's it for all my favorites at the moment. I think I will do this more. I will do monthly favorites, of course, and I want to do more lookbooks. And yeah, I will update more. Okay, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye! <laughs> Is it focused or not?